Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, little video that I called What's in your tank? Hopefully other people will share their videos because I'm curious about what people have in their tank. You'll have to excuse the uh, the dirty glass and all the algae growing on my uh, in my tank. It's just a quick overview. I like to have um, different species of fish. Tank. Here we have the glass catfish, probably the most boring fish to own. That's that's all they do. Sit there. And those are little panda cories. Love these guys. They're my wife's favorite, and they're always together. You'll see in this video. And in the foreground we have cardinal tetras, and in the back there we have a black tetra. Five or six of them. They're usually schooling together you'll see and these little orange guys are laddies absolutely love absolutely love these little guys they're always together even if i think they're not supposed to be schooling fish super curious always eating scraps and algae really cool little guys full of personality as you can see i have two kind of biomes in my tank i have the grass and the rocky area. Oh, in the back is Thai flying fox. Here we have uh, Taco. It was the star of her own video that I've just posted recently. I bought about 15 cherry and yellow shrimp. 15, sorry, because they're really cheap in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. And she's the last survivor. She's so fat that she's quite confident to walk around now. And here's another look at the Thai flying fox. Probably the star, the, the unsung star of this tank. I'll tell you a bit more why later. Here's what I like to stare at, just my view. Sorry if the screen's a bit shaky, it's pretty windy in my apartment. So yeah, I like to have different kinds of fish mixed together. Obviously after doing a little bit of research uh, to see which fish go together. The glass catfish I bought on a whim. I used to have two of them but one didn't make it. They're just really shy and that's all they do to just sit there. I they're schooling fish too, so if I had more than one, uh, it would probably be more confident and maybe move around a little bit. But um, I only trust two shops in Ho Chi Minh City and the guy I got this one from uh, doesn't have any anymore. And here's a flying silverfish. Why I said it's an unsung star, I didn't know that they're, they're just a perfect cleaner. They clean rocks, they clean the floor, the substrate, they eat algae off of plants they're rarely uproot stuff unlike my big uh, snail and sometimes the quarries get carried away but these guys uh, look how fat it is really cool fish too you can see on the glass a little snail I'm having an outbreak Right now of little tiny snails everywhere, I'm picking out like 10 a day. Here's the neon tetras cooling together, of about 10 of them. Used to have 15 but I recently had an outbreak and the older ones, the fat ones, all perished. Unfortunately I had an ammonia spike. Here's a Siamese or Thai algae eater. Uh, I got the, <laughs> look at the little panda quarries. I love these dudes always together. The one on the underneath the branch, the Siamese algae eater. I got to clean the tank and the biofilm of the um, ticket strapper fern I have, but it's they're really lazy. I think they go out at night more. And you can see the rest of the black tetras at the back. I got them because my friend recommended them and I wanted uh, to see if they would school with the cardinal tetras, but the two kinds of fish keep together. 
And these guys always hang out in the back there. Because it's quiet. They're more shy, I guess, because they're outnumbered. And they're when they're fat, they look like little piranhas. And when I put food in, they act like little piranhas too. Uh, little moth fell in the other day and they attacked it and shredded to pieces. It was pretty cool to watch. Here's the jungle biome. The pot, the ceramic pot was for my, I had a better sorority, but uh, I lost two of the females and the last one is in a quarantine tank. Right now she's pine coning. I have swim bladder or constipation, so till I get my water under control, I don't want to put them back in. You can see Taco. Different angle looking down. Cardinal Tetra is following the camera really well. And Taco at the top is chilling. I removed her favorite plant by mistake because I put it in the other tank. I'm cycling a nano tank. I'm gonna grow more shrimp, hopefully. Like, I'm gonna, st I'm gonna buy another bunch of them but I'm gonna put them in a separate tank until they're big enough to go in the main tank. Little platies cleaning up the filter. Just a cave I made. I recently got Cooley Loach fish. They used to gross me out but I wanted to try something different and because I have a lot of dirt in my ammonia substrate, here's another day I had the footage of them after I put a <laughs> algae tablet in front of their little den. See, I got more bottom feeders to try to clean up because the substrate is really dirty. Bloody <laughs> guys, always curious. I love them. They're probably my favorite fish in my tank. I wish we had more diversity here. Here it is. That's a week later after, uh, from the previous video. Now, one of them feels more confident and will trek to the little uh, country house. I had put that house for shrimp, but they, they didn't go in there, and that's just like a snail breeding house now. There's my tank, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, working on a few things right now, getting the ammonia under control. Here's Taco upside down. And uh, I recently just cleaned out all the brown fern. That's apparently too much sunlight, because I'm injecting CO2 already. So go ahead guys and share with me uh, your tank. Thank you very much for watching and uh, have a nice day guys.